up guys? I'm out here at the uh, Mount Penn Preserve today and uh, I want to do a quick video kind of talking about my process for going fast and making things flow when there's tech. Um, we're going to do a kind of a lower angle trail today so not super steep. I'm going to ride it a handful of times and just let you guys kind of see my process. I'll probably uh, do some voiceover and uh, just kind of let you guys know what I'm thinking about while I'm hitting something like this. I think this might be a nice uh, kind of change of pace for the channel. And you guys will have to let me know what you think about it. See you guys at the top of the trail. All right, so I've ridden this trail a good bit. It's called Cub. Um, it's got some good jank, some good turns, and a couple nice little features. I think it'll work well for this. So this first lap, I'm just gonna kinda get a feel for what this trail looks like now. It's been a little while since I've properly ridden it. Kinda still know where the moves are and where everything goes, but more or less wanna make sure before I turn up the heat that there's no like trees down or anything like that. Right now I'm just focused on keeping my eyes up, looking where I'm going. All right, not bad. Now this one comes out to a road, so we gotta be careful at the end. I just got done climbing back up, so I'm a little out of breath, but you get the idea on that first lap. Really just focusing on learning the trail as much as I can kind of taking in as much as I can and just uh, just trying to remember key points on the trail. Keep my eyes up, that way I can see as far ahead as possible and just really make sure that I take in as much as I can. My goal with that first lap is not to go fast, it's really just to learn the trail. Now this lap, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna drop in and I'm gonna be looking for things like braking zones, um, trying to get myself off of the brakes through the corners to really open up my lines and make myself a little bit smoother. Uh, carry a little bit more exit speed. It'll give me a little bit more to work with. In order to make the trail flow better, I need to be able to go a little bit faster so that I can get those gaps coming out of the corners and kind of hone in my lines a little bit. So we're gonna see if we can try and put that into practice this lap. Knock a rock loose there. Oh, got a little too far inside there. I actually think it's probably going to be quicker to be outside. Flat corners at the bottom here are rough. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. I need to carry a little bit better speed out of the corners, but that was much better than the first time. I wasn't breaking in the turns as much. I, I like that. <laughs> we'll talk at the top. Back at the top, a little out of breath again. <laughs> We're gonna drop into the third run here. Before I do that, at this point, I've got the lines down, mostly. There are a couple little spots that I messed up that last run. One of them is that right-hand sweeper where I think it's gonna be faster to be outside on the dirt instead of inside, kinda of at the edge of the leaves where there's not a ton of grip to work with. Sorry, those are fogging up on me. Um, I think it's gonna be beneficial to get out there on the dirt where I've got some more traction and I can open it up a little bit more. The other thing that I want to think about is making sure that I keep the front of the bike weighted properly into the turns. Um, and that's going to give me a little bit more pace coming out. It's going to let me open up some of those gaps in the rocks where I can kind of pull over something and make the trail flow a little bit better. I'm going to kind of try to envision all of that, visualize it before I drop in on this run. Anywhere that I think that I can gain a little bit of time and or make the trail flow a little bit better. Um, those things tend to go hand in hand. So we're going to try and think about that. 
and then drop in and rip it. Much better. All right, Whew. I think that's about the best I'm gonna get that. That was great. I think I really got the lines down. We'll talk when I'm not out of breath. <laughs> I just climbed all the way up to the tower. Got a little bit of daylight left, so I think I'm gonna catch an A-line lap after this, but uh, just wanted to go over that third lap a little bit. It's worth noting, sometimes you're not gonna get to ride a trail two, three, four times before you get to actually send it, especially if you race enduro, you might get to see something once. Um, it really, really helps have one of these, a camera mounted on your chest or your helmet, wherever you can get it, and just uh, get footage of your pre-ride day so that you can study up. Um, that's gonna help you pick your lines the best. And you'll find that even though you've only ridden it once, if you can watch it a couple of times, it's really gonna help you uh, recognize sections of the trail where you can carry more speed and maybe get, uh, you know, smooth things out a little bit by gapping things or, or just avoiding uh, rough sections in general. Um, I find that having video really helps with that. Um, other than that, just uh, make it fun, make it smooth. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, you know, all the sayings. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe for any future content. Hope this one helped you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.